All right, uh, what I'm gonna do here today, I'm gonna make something that I've needed and just not done it. Most of the time, these are out of wood, but I wanna make one out of metal, uh, and it's gonna be a shorter one. Uh, my old vice here hitting level, so I level, I level my piece of wood or metal. And I wanted something pretty heavy duty that we're gonna be welding to. That way it doesn't bend when we start putting force on it. And so we're gonna be using these guys. Um, gonna be welding these kind of like this, cutting them off and cutting part of this out. And basically, threading this guy Let me get the camera up there for you threading him through this thing with the nut on it we're gonna sharpen the point on this and gonna repeat on this side this one's gonna be a little bit bigger it's gonna be angled down uh, kind of like something on this line right here but this is going to be a checkering and uh, cradle and sanding cradle, basically for stocks. So, like, if you have if you have a stock and you don't want to do the whole thing, well, how how do you mount this to where you can actually work on the surface without beating it up? Well, there's a little hole right in the center there. I don't think you can see it because of the light. Let me get back. But that hole runs all the way through. See that work? There you go. The hole runs all the way through. So I'm basically going to sharpen this end to where it will go in. Kind of stick right in this side and do another one where it'll basically stick in one of the uh, mounting holes for it. Uh, and it ought to be pretty good. I'm going to have it. You know that way you can turn it this way this way you'll be able to spin it and I want it I want this side short um, and I'll probably end up welding something on this side coming up that way I can rest my arm on it if I'm trying to do checkering patterns uh, to give you a, like a steady spot to work um, any of you artists or anything know that you need a steady hand you can't just free free do stuff but that's what's gonna happen and so let's get started I'm gonna go cut cut this guy off first get my angles cut it drill my angle out to where the bolt will fit in the angle at kind of an angle it'll fit right in that 90 degree crevice basically and turn upward i'll weld all that in and then uh, make it to where my this guy will come through and if this bolt doesn't work actually i can go get another one this is kind of something i just i had all this in the shop so that's why i was using this setup uh, this is a big piece of L um, it's pretty thick stuff so I don't want anything to bend but I'm gonna go get all this laid out and then once I get the pieces cut I'll kind of show you what what's happening to make us not so long and boring and sanding and grinding
All right, what I've done is I have welded a nut in this piece here, then just ground it down, made it to where this guy will turn. He's still a little tight, but I'll loosen all that up. Um, we've been sanding. I sanded the carriage bolt flat on the end. And the reason being, I am going to weld um, that on here, this like right here for a handle, and then gonna have a piece of wood cut, carved, um, where it will actually fit. I'll have to carve this piece down and make my hole just a little bit bigger. It's, eh, I might leave it like that. But uh, that'll go through, basically weld onto this, weld onto this, and then that'll be my handle to do the tightening. Um, now, so I went, like I said, I went ahead and did this on both of them. And the reason I, I, I don't want to kind of make it boring, just showing every single step in a super long video. This is not hard. You can do it with wood. But the most important part is having these two guys on the same plane. See how they're right here. They're pretty much even on this side. So now what I got to do, I've made this guy a little bit longer and I want to extend, figure out where I've got to cut it. They're both going to be running in the middle. They're basically going to be pointing at each other, but I have to figure out where this line is coming down to where that'll be. And then when we're doing our checkering or whatever, I've got to make sure that we've got enough room to spin this thing. So I don't, I don't want to be bottoming out and I don't even want to be close to it. Mm. So I, I've got just a little bit that I can do here. Um, you know, I could always raise that end up, but I, I'm pretty good right here. It's basically going to be somewhat like that. That's where I'm going to have to cut it. And I got some other things that I'm going to be making for the ends of these. I, I, I've been really thinking about these ends. The ones I, I've seen online, you know, where people made them, they kind of ground down their screw um, and made a point where they could dig into the wood. What I'm thinking about doing is making a coupler for this guy and then I can put different attachments on it. I can have a coupler coming up with any kind of piece that in the future that I need to make, um, you know, to say hold a forearm or basically anything. I, I could make this set up for a vice for anything that would fit in between it by the different attachments that you could put on the ends. And that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and get it set up. Um, I might bring it back and well, I'll probably just show you once I kind of get it set up here, get it, get it welded in. All right, this is kind of what we ended up with. And what we did, I took some square tubing and put in the middle of it to help line these things up. I think that's your most important part of this whole puzzle is keeping these guys lined up. And I'm gonna weld them up now, but you can see the handles. Got the handles put on, put a little washer on the end of them. They spin. It turned out pretty nice. I've just got to do some welding and get get the final thing here done and we will have it
bright blue. Gonna be pretty. All right, this is what we ended up with. Uh, we got a couple of wooden handles. They spin really good. These, I'm gonna end up grinding these down um, and making little couplings on the end of them where I can screw on uh, different attachments to fit each thing that I'm making. Um, and it can be like a piece like on this one to slide actually through this whole chamber. Um, and then the same with the rear. But overall, I'm going to move you around here. But like if you were wanting to sand or checker, it gives you a real stable place to do it. Um, real happy with it. Turned out turned out really nice, I think. Um, we'll get a lot of a lot of use out of this thing. Beat, beat setting it on the workbench. And uh, like I said, I don't know if everybody wants to make one out of metal. It was way more difficult than it is the wood one um i'm gonna make another one for rifles um I, I got an old thing for shotguns like 1890s to 1920s during the depression era where they carve in the butt plate um i've got deer quail moose i mean you you name it and it's just kind of the old you know, the old farmer or the one of the young farmer boys that, that, you know, sat around and whittled on the thing. And, um, you know, some of them are kind of rude, uh, crude, not rude, but crude, but they're nice. I mean, they, they're pretty sweet and I'm wouldn't mind doing a few of them. I, I want to, I've got to have something stable. I'm still kind of shaky a little bit. And, um, that's that's another reason for doing this one. And I can actually come off of it, put an armrest, um, make it where it swivels and do all kind of things and make a tool holder off of it. And it being metal, I can just weld it and then have the piece go out. And then, you know, you pretty much can do anything at that point, um, you know, with a slide retractable. Uh, I, I mean, I guess you could with wood too. Um, I just, I wanted a metal one. I wanted something that was going to last, uh, longer than I'm here. So this will be a hand-me-down, I hope. And, uh, or you might find it at the yard sale for a buck fifty one day. I don't know, but that's my version of it. And y'all will be seeing it in videos and yeah, got goofy colors. <laughs> I like, I like the, like the weird colors. So thought about bluing it, but eh, anybody could blue it. I mean, I guess anybody could paint it happy colors but oh well tis what it is see y'all on the next one